She's eye rolling me big time. I did right? not. Oh, I did so, not. You so were you eye rolling. You cannot. <laughs> how about how about Christmas flamingos? Christmas flamingos are fun. How about a happy Hanukkah cat sweater? Oh, that's adorable. Actually, the tipsy elves, they were on Shark Tank. I wonder uh -huh. if uh, they have any value. I think I'm gonna go down the end caps first, is what I'm gonna do. Because the end caps look a little interesting. Are you getting a lucky cart? <laughs> Sunny San Diego. It's actually a little bit. The sun's out. The it's sun's out now. Kinda. It's a little chilly. What's the temp? 62. 62. I am freezing. I am bundled. <sighs> but that's okay. We both have Uggs on. We've got our jacky jackets on. And uh, she's she's eye rolling me big time. I did right? not. Oh, I did so, not. You so were you eye rolling. You cannot. <laughs> Do not lie on camera. She's eye rolling. Uh, we are going into Goodwill. Where else would we be? And I thought we were going to get to two today. We're going to only get to this one and maybe some other kind of shop where I can find some warm socks. But but we're going to go in here. TJ Maxx? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to do that. All right. So we're going to go in, see what we can find for resale. I'm really gearing towards things that I can sell on whatnot. Whatnot is something that I really want to build up. I want to, I want to start doing a couple of sales a week on whatnot. I'm already doing just the one. Uh, I'm really, really focused on whatnot. And if you have not signed up for whatnot yet, there is a link down in the description. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up here across the screen too. If you sign up with that link, you can get fifteen dollars to go over and shop and spend. Doesn't have to be with me. It can be with anybody. Any sale over and whatnot, go use the $15. They do that so that you can make your first transaction on the site and see that it's super painless and easy and fun. Uh, so come join me over on whatnot. I will be doing a sale on... Can I commit to Monday? I don't know. I don't I know because yeah. I'm still traveling. I think I can. It depends on what I, you find. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. If I can find enough stuff to sell on Monday, I'm selling on Monday. Yes, I am. All right. So I'll see you over there, but I'll see you inside. Let's get shop done. Oh no, Christmas is up already. Welcome. It's already Christmas time. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ready, but I am ready. For a lucky cart. How about how about Christmas flamingos? Christmas flamingos are fun. We don't we don't want Christmas flamingos. Okay. I can just she doesn't even have to do the eye roll. It's like a, just a sensory thing. I just feel it. I just feel it coming my way. Oh, I I can assume and I do assume because uh, I've known you your whole life. Prove it. Prove it? <laughs> Show me your birth certificate. Look at these little... I thought these were cute, but they don't stand up. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, they need batteries, but I bet they're super cute. And they light up and everything. Oh, look at these. Does he light up? He's only 99 cents, a little baby one. Look at the whole little family of snowmen back here. They are pretty cute. They are cute. Oh my gosh. Look at it. They got like a ton of these. I get, oh, it, they're lights. Didn't Mimi used to have these or did you used to have these? Oh, I still have a bunch of those. Okay. But look, these are lights. You put the, that's why there's so many. Is they, they light, they, they, they light, they light, they light. I really want to find vintage Christmas. You know, that's kind of my. What does he do? What does his little nose do? It, oh, he's a music box. His little nose is his. That's kind of cute. 
He's actually really cute. I kind of want him. All right, I'm grabbing him for $4.99. Got little miniatures and things. So I guess I'm gonna start selling Christmas. I mean, why wait? I mean, it's time. Halloween's over. That's usually the time to start really loading up the Christmas. So Christmas it is. Notice the boots she's wearing. Do you see those? If you go back a few videos, you will remember me buying those for me. Yes, yes. But instead, they are on her feet. That is how it happens when you have children, isn't it? Nothing is your own. Oh, they fit me enough. <laughs> I happen to say that they were slightly small. That's a Kohl's Cares. And then she goes, oh, well, let me see them. They'll fit me. All right. I don't see anything super exciting over here. How about a happy Hanukkah sweater? <laughs> Actually, the Tipsy Elves, they were on Shark Tank. I wonder if uh, they have any value. They actually might, they might. We might have to look that up. That might actually be a good, a good uh, resale thing. I've got Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty glass ornament for $2.99. Oh, it was a TJ Maxx $6.99 item. It could be worth a little more now, but Probably not enough for me to deal with today. What are these guys? Are they the, oh, they are the Benihana ones. I don't see a price on that one. Is there a price on that one? $7.99. Yeah, I like to kind of stay down in the like $5 range on those. Oh, these guys are cute. Oh my goodness. Are they? Do they, oh no, they don't sing or anything. They're just little, little guys on a stand. Oh, look. Definitely not something I want to ship out of uh, San Diego though, but I might have to see how much it is. Let's see. It's got a price, it's got a price somewhere, anywhere, anywhere. Oh, there it is, $24.99. Let me see the bottom. Yeah, that's. It's a newer one. It's not old. All right. It's not a vintage one. Oops. And it's falling apart. Look at it. It's, um, it's actually a little nativity. It's, it's, uh, Mary and Joseph and Jesus. This is $14.99 now. I don't know if I like it $14.99 worth though. Oh. All right. We're going to, we're going to leave that one. They are just really loading up the Christmas stuff right now. It's all just coming out. We've got lots of stuff up on shelves here. Adds a little splash of color as you're shopping. But nothing too exciting at that I'm seeing. Oh, there's another. I bet this one's $7.99 also. No, that one's only $3.99. Hey, hey, look at that. We will grab that one. Why do I really, really like this? Just big old ornament thing. Just a blue ornament plush. Why do I feel like it's something that Jordan would uh, do something with too? I'm trying to find out how much it is. I'm not finding a price tag. I hate that, but hmm. It's got possibilities. It definitely has some possibilities. Let's see what else has possibilities over here. Hmm. I am just so not ready to get into the Christmas spirit yet. But then there's elephants. Oh my gosh, it's a snow elephant. It's by Tuskers building a snow Ellie. 2008 Anesco. He's $7.99. <gasps> He's missing one of his little, one of his little branches, but look at how sweet that is. All right, I am going to get that guy. Okay, I spotted this little three-dimensional tin Christmas tree that looks like it's got some age on it, actually. For $1.99, that is a perfect what night item. Lightweight, easy to ship, and I can get it at the right price. I really want to find a vintage 
Santa Claus. One of those really, really expensive ones. I have never found one in the wild. This is a fun little Noah's Ark guy. It is tin or metal, actually. Oh, it's a Kurt Adler. $14.99, though. Darn it. I just don't like to invest that much into an item because I like to start my items at like a dollar, two dollars over and whatnot. And if, you know, if I pay $14.99, I do take a big risk of not making enough on it. So I have to be careful with that. Let's see this little guy back here. Little wood house. Who makes you? You're vintage. I think that says 1988 pretty sure that's what I'm reading there I have new glasses coming I'm so excited he's $3.99 it's kind of cute it's a little candle holder I, I might come back for that I don't know it's not super grabbing me I might come back for it I am gonna get this though yes I'm so excited new glasses are coming yes I have a magnifying glass with me it's just hard to juggle and take it out and then I mean I can't really film using it so if I use it I'm going to use it off camera if I really need to see something so in the moment I'm trying to see something I can't really do it <laughs> oh look it's a narwhal narwhal see I said it right that time man they have got the Christmas stuff going on at this store now I wonder if that's what it's going to be like when I get back to Las Vegas. If they will have all of the Christmas goodies out. They were working on it before I left. They had the whole place kind of turned upside down waiting to do that. These are Hello Kitty Christmas blinking lights. How much are you? How much are you? You are $9.99. Might be worth it if I was home. I might be tempted to pick those up but now I'm gonna try to stay a little on the picky side because I don't want to have to leave anything behind this trip now ornaments would be really really good for whatnot really really good but I got to find the right ones I mean they've got to be something that is desirable strikes an emotion maybe this little Christmas tree in me you see, I have lost my cart, so I have to go find the cart. We've got some train cars. If I can find some of the little birds do really, really well. Airmail for Santa. And they're asking like $2.99 a piece on them. I just don't know. Hmm. I mean, there's some Hallmark ones that sell for really good money. I'm just not very familiar with which ones they are. So I may, I don't know, I may revisit that if I can't find other good things. Mm. Do we like that? It's kind of cute. Look at it, it's got little bolly balls on the corners. I could see that on your couch. I can. It's $14.99. For personal use, I don't think that's bad. Yeah, and just like that, a Jordan is now decorating for Christmas because that's what we are being uh, faced with. And it's hard to resist. Oh, but then there is there is some Thanksgiving stuff over here. Let's let's go here. Let's break it up a little bit. Can only take so much Christmas at a time. That's a cute little trinket dish ring holder. And then there's this little guy. But these are, yeah, they're like dollar store. Dollar store originally. This is that stained on color. You can see it's actually coming off quite a bit. Monkey pod. Kind of a nice dish, actually. Cute little bank. 
silver plated made in Hong Kong, $2.99. I just don't think those bring very much. I think I'm gonna go down the end caps first is what I'm gonna do. Because the end caps look a little interesting. Like I see a cute little chicken basket under here. $7.99. Never mind. Oh boy. All right. It's okay. We will not be discouraged by high prices. We will not. We will still find goodies. Now I know this has a chip. I just am very curious what's, oh, that's what I was afraid of. It's a Hager. It's the Hager Swan Planter, but that's a pretty substantial chip. So no can do. Oh, look. There's another one. They're everywhere. $2.99. All right. That way nobody has to fight over them. Carrots. Okay. I'm just setting this down so I can, I don't, oh, one of them's missing its little top. That's a bummer. Five bucks. Yeah. If that one, if that was, if there was three of them, I would have grabbed that, but nah, nah. I'll wait. I'll go back to the vintage market days and I'll find my carrot lady and I'll get some of the really, 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 really cute ones. Let's see what's under here. That looks like a Ken Edwards piece. Uh, it doesn't say Ken Edwards, but it is Mexican. Uh, is it Tanala? Is this one Tanala or Talavera? I always get confused. Ugh, big crack. See that? Big giant crack. Darn it. That bums me out. And there was another one. This one's got an owl. This one's not signed at all. Hmm. What do you think? I think I'll grab it. As long as they give me a good price on it. Oh, I see a very colorful... Hold on. Set you down right there. Very colorful chicken. It's $4.99. He's like a lacquer. Uh, he's... He's pretty awesome. So I think I will get him for $4.99. And I think... That's it, but look, they're bringing out stuff as we speak. Oh, lots of new in the package stuff. <laughs> Porta potty shot glasses. <laughs> okay, come on, those are kind of funny. Porta potty shot glasses? You didn't see those? Oh, well, here, let me make sure you see those. A jellyfish tank. What is this? What is this? Jellyfish are not real jellyfish. Well, I would hope not. Because <laughs> that, that would be a little dangerous now, wouldn't it? Oh, I see a big crack in it. That's too bad. Because that, that would be fun. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. And stuff like that is usually pretty darn expensive, too. You're... Just having too much fun loading the cart over here, young lady. We're gonna have to get a second cart. Classic Curve Mug by Scentsy. Inspire. Enliven. Warm the heart. $5.99. For you. Cabo. Hmm. Boy, there is so much new in the package stuff here. It's crazy. These jars are really, really cute. But we're, we're not quite to Easter yet. It's coming sooner than we know, though. Look how fast Christmas is creeping up on us. All right, I don't see anything here. That tickles my fancy. What else is going in the car? What else are you finding? Worry about me. I, I'm just wondering if we have to go get another cart. Look at, look what she's buying. Milk. Milk glass. 
milk glass. Oh. This is millennial shopping at its finest. But you passed up the cute little bunny planter. Let's uh, check him out. Who makes you? We don't know. Two ninety nine. It's kind of cute. I feel like it's the wrong season to be buying bunnies for immediate resale. He'll be good in a while, but not right now. Oh, there's more of these guys. Are these ones? Let me just see the price. Yep, seven ninety nine. Gosh, there must be a Benihana's around here, close by. There is. That one's five ninety nine. Hmm. Ooh, that looks like a Portugal or Italy piece right here. Large terrine that I don't want to really deal with. Italy, yep. But it is beautiful. Gotta admire it. That's kind of a nice. Uh, a mold. $7.99. Again, big, heavy. It's going to take a bit to ship that. And I am not about it right now. What do you need? Oh, she found more plates. The last time I was here. Oh, the false graph. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got some false graph pattern. And oh, 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 you got that? You got that? How much is that? $9.99 for eight pieces? That's not a bad price. All right, she's buying them. She's buying them. Look at these blue plaid glasses. Those are plastic. I thought they were glass. They are not glass. They are plastic. Cute piece by Amy. Oh no, did she find more? Ah, oh, she found the little plates that go with it. Okay. Fish. Is it a fish birdhouse, though? I don't know how that works. A fish birdhouse. I don't, I don't think that works. Okay, now looking at it, maybe it's just meant to be a planter and not a birdhouse. Okay, all right. He's a Wells Fargo. Some of these can do okay. It's missing a stopper. I'm gonna pass on him. Oops. What? Again? You found more? It was not. It was not what she thought it was. I do like those are nice. They're actually vintage. Uh, yeah. Well, they got you know the blue and the false graph and the. Yeah, right, the right, smoky blue. Smoky blue is nice. Oh, set, putting she's putting that back. She's getting the glasses. Let's look at some mugs. That's kind of a cute, kind of a cute one. North American wild birds. What's that? It's Pokemon. Oh, it's Pikachu. It's pretty chipped up though. Pretty chipped. Let's see what's down here. Huh, Las Vegas. Oh, there's more of this Mexican pottery here. I'm gonna leave that one. I tend to just get the ones with animals on them. these end caps just kind of call to me. It's nice to see things all in like the same color scheme. That's an interesting piece of glass, although a little on the odd side. This girl here, she's a Annie, let's just say something Cornelius. Looks like a hobby piece. Excuse me. See what that is. It is nothing. All right, let's see if we can find something over here in the glassware. I mean, they've got a little bit of everything mixed together from vases to drinking glasses, and you gotta look really closely because it can be 
just about anything mixed in here. This I'm drawn to just because of the substantial nature of that glass, but it's just not a high-end piece, but it did call my attention, as did the blue turquoise pitcher for $4.99. I love that price. I do love that price, and I love that color. I'm torn. I'm torn. Jordan, I'm torn on this one. I like it. I like it, too. That's the problem. Do I need it? Well, hmm, okay, I'm getting it. Apparently we're redoing Jordan's kitchen in blue. That's what we're doing. Oh, wait, look, there's a little canister, I think, that matches. Look, does that match? Kind of does. It kind of would. Uh, it kind of would. It kind of would match. Let me know in the comments, would it match? Would it match? Would it be okay? I'm kind of thinking it would. Ooh, these are kind of cool. Check these out. Do there, are they supposed to go together and make a... Oh, I think they do. I think they... They kind of make a... Like a little circle together. Here, let's move this one over. Do. Let's figure out how they sew. Wait, no, this one like this. They do. Look at that. They all kind of go together like that. I like them. They are $4.99 each, though. I do like them. Oh, all the little canning jars. Anything in the plastics grabbing our eye? I don't see anything. Nothing. Nothing exciting. All right, this is the metals area, and behind me is the wood, so this will be fun. There's a lot of stuff on these shelves, I gotta tell ya. A lot of stuff. You would think we would find something super enticing at least and there's nothing really even calling me to look at it hmm all right no not feeling the metals let's see if the wood and the baskets and such can be a little better here Mm, I see a basket kind of calling me. It reminds me of the one I picked up the other day with the wood beads, but it's when I pick it up, it's really got like no substance to it. Oh, too bad that's a candle. It's so mid-century looking. I just don't like to deal with candles. Because if they don't sell over the winter, then I've got to worry about how they will survive the summer. Oh, that's barbs. And that's, uh, and that's, uh, uh, gyms, barb and gyms, barb and gym stuff. That's interesting. That is a wood vase with a really cool pattern going through it. For $4.99, I kind of think I have to get that. Okay, I think that, that was it for this aisle for us. Let's see if there's anything extra cool over here. Not seeing anything. I see some beaded beaded fruits and veggies though. You know how I love those. How much are you? $7.99 and some of them are pretty beat up so we have to leave that. 
keep digging here a little bit. Oh, we got some stained ruby red glasses. You can see the wear there. It's all coming off. That's why we stay away from those because that happens so easily. Alright, what do we got up here? Kind of some pastel colors going. He's cute. But sadly, we're past we're past the Halloween season now. We're moving on. We're moving on to Christmas. Just a little piece of glass. I'm like I've seen something about USA, but I also see made in China. It's a little confusing. No, I don't know who that is either. Oh, it's a shaker. We should have the other one. Good time of year for uh, cornucopias. Cupital, cupital of a column with the head of a cow. I don't understand this. I don't understand this at all. Okay. We're going to leave you. Oh, that's a cute little cat dish. Pet Rageous design. Very cute. Hmm. Nothing here. Lots of very, very modern, like TJ Maxx stuff and home goods and that kind of thing. Not so much vintage and good resale value stuff. So, I think the cart's mostly filled up by Jordan. I think I have a set of these already. These little 1950s pastels. Yeah, they're made by Crooksville. I've had mine listed for a while. I should probably pull them and just sell them in a live sale and start them at a dollar and see where they go. That is a piece of Sooner glass. It is $12.99. Kind of a beast to ship. So I'm going to leave that one for somebody else. This red shoe print is kind of intriguing me. Look at the little matador. I feel like I have seen this artist work somewhere before and it's pricey, but I can't place exactly who it is. It's kind of cool. I wonder if Jordan saw this. I feel like Jordan would like this piece of art too. All right, I'm gonna grab it for now, at least. It's $5.99, we'll see what happens. Oh, goodness. I bet there's some good art in here. I just not really in the mood to go through art, but I mean, I'm gonna a little bit, just a little bit, just to see. You ever do that? You ever feel like you just gotta be in the mood to look for certain things? It's just that's how I that's how I roll. Pretty frame. I do like that frame. No. Oh. Yeah. All right. That's it for the art for me. We will peek through the plush here. As I remember, though, their plush is a little on the pricey side. So unless I see something super special, we will probably not be picking anything up. I see cool little bamboo looking planter. Oh, it's a candle holder and it's chipped. Well, that's a bummer. This guy's cool. Yeah. Nothing else. Jordan didn't like it. I am going to put it back. Look at me go. Look at me go.
Do we need to have a conversation about situational awareness? <laughs> I found this little number to go in my next Disney whatnot sale. $7.99 for Stitch sweatshirt. I think that's a good buy. And I found this very, very interesting hat. Uh, it says, Brony. Experience the magic of friendship as bros, but it is my little pony brand. Uh, so I feel like I need to look that one up. It's just part wool, too. And it is... Oh, it's $5.99, so I definitely need to look that one up and see if it's worth getting. All right, I couldn't find the exact one, but other of the Brony My Little Pony hats sold for like $15 to $20, so I'm going to take a chance on it. Boy, they just have Christmas everywhere. They must have just really like stocked and brought it out because there is an abundance, abundance of Christmas in this store. That is plastic. I was hoping it was glass. Let's take a peek in the the good case here. Let's see, I doubt there's going to be anything in here that's going to be priced where I would want to buy it. But it never hurts to take a peek, now does it? Oh, I do like I like the blue shoes. Well, most of this most of this is Jordan's this time. This is yeah, you did this. That's okay. I will do a recap of the things that I purchased. I will share with you what I paid, what it is, and how much it's worth over on eBay. So stay tuned for that coming up right after we get checked out here. stop in San Diego. We are off. <laughs> She's driving. Can you tell? We are off to go get something to eat. I wasn't saying you were a bad driver. Uh, it just sounded like you were. I just said it was a little bouncy bouncy. I say the same thing when Sunny's driving too. <laughs> the joys of being the passenger. All right, we're going to go find something to eat and then we are off to, I think, Legoland. TJ Maxx. And I, they probably have all their Christmas stuff up too, so I'll give you a little sneak peek in there. Oh no. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Important stuff. like one of each kind of taco kind of thing. I got filet mignon tacos. Even the beans look super yummy. All right. We're digging in. All right, we got full tummies, but that is not gonna stop us from uh, making one more pit stop before we head home. This could be a little dangerous. Just a little dangerous for us because we love this place. I tried to say like and love came out. Did you did you catch that? <laughs> Are you getting a lucky cart? Oh. All right, look at these. Look at the little, look at the little Halloween candy corn. 
That's not a really big clearance though. I'm not, that does not grab me. If they were 10 bucks, I'd be scooping them up. You know, we're really here for socks. What are we doing over here? I don't know. <laughs> I like that chair. That would fit in my car. No. Crate and Barrel had those Stay for here. like $1,300. I'm going to, I'm going to guard the chair. You can find someone <laughs> and ask how much it is. Oh boy. Yeah. Apparently it's kind of like the same chair as Crate and Barrel because it's priced up there. Yeah. All right. I may, I may have bought a few pairs of socks, but look at Bear Paw. Look at these brands. And, uh, Wool born, wool blend, and Timberland, and and then just fun. And uh, I think I think I'm set with socks now. I started talking. She's so mean. Oh wait, it's over here. She's making me take the cart back. We parked all the way on the other side, but at least I don't have to go all the way back to the store. Ah, there we go. Well, this could get interesting. <laughs> it's like a battle of the cars here. Ooh, who's going to win? <laughs> I, I could see space. And with that, we are done. You, go be profitable. And... I'm driving. <laughs> Make it fun. <laughs>